Hello everybody, this is Ali Inan signing in with yet another video related to essay writing. I am an assistant professor of English literature, co-editor of the Global Age magazine and the CSS mentor at the KIPP CSS network. Today I will discuss with you a few aspects of using discourse resource in English essay. Discourse resource is an explicit demand of the question paper of English essay in CSS examinations. The question paper explicitly states that use all forms of discourses, exposition, description, argumentation and narration. Exposition, description, argumentation and narration are four different discourse resources and several candidates are a bit confused that the question paper is perhaps referring to different types of essays, expository essays, descriptive essays, argumentative essays and narrative essays. However, when the question paper demands that use all forms of discourses in a single essay, it is referring to writing styles. It does not discard the possibility that there will be one dominant vein. In fact, it is highly probable and indeed one essay will have one dominant vein of writing. An essay which is expository will have a dominant expository style, but there remains some space of description, narration and argumentation. For instance, if we take expository writing as a writing style, we have to consider that in any script or in any piece of prose there will remain a space of exposition and if it is a complete expository topic then we are going to use the, it, the technique of expository writing in the entire essay. However, when we discuss expository writing we refer to a technique of writing as its name suggests that it exposes facts. It exposes facts, so it is an objective style. It is a logical style of writing. In fact, the entire piece of exposition will have a logical and a linear format. There will be clarity of purpose in writing an, in any expository piece of prose. It will not be subjective. It will not include an author's opinion. It will not include anything based on emotions or feelings of the writer. It will only present things as they are. The tone and the language in the exposition or the expository section of writing will be quite different from that in descriptive, argumentative or narrative section of writing. However, exposition remains a key part or a key component of any essay. On the other hand, descriptive writing will include subjective opinion. It is not necessary that there is always subjective opinion. Descriptive writing might be an extension of expository writing. An expository piece of prose will not have modifiers, but a descriptive piece of prose will have modifiers. It will include adverbs, adjectives, and it will also rely on the usage of figures of speech such as metaphors, similes, hyperboles, personification, synecdoches or metonymies. All of us know that figures of speech are an important part of effective communicative writing. A metaphor provides an implicit comparison, a simile provides an explicit comparison. An adjective modifies a noun, an adverb modifies a verb. Personification can bring inanimate ob objects to life and a synecdoche or a metonymy will use a part to represent the whole or a whole to represent the part. It's a common saying when we watch any cricket match, we say that Pakistan won the match. It does not mean that 22 crores of people have gone to play the match. Pakistan in this sentence is a whole representing the part. Or if we go to read Bible and it is written, give us this day our daily bread in the prayer, bread not only represents the simple bread, it also represents the necessities of life, which means that it is a representation through a part for the entire whole. So a descriptive writing would contain all these figurative literary devices. Argumentative writing includes justifications, reasons, and there can be arguments and counter-arguments to prove one's own point. But one, once we move 
towards the way forward or call to action after providing justifications and reasons, then we call it persuasive piece of prose. In majority essays, a way forward is a requirement in CSS. So most of our essays finally boil down to being persuasive pieces of prose with using all forms of discourse resource, exposition, description, argumentation, and narration so that we may write persuasive essays. I'll be soon back with another interesting video. Bye-bye.